What's up, Fish Tank people? Dustin's Fish Tank's bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we bring you more action from the Louisville Koi Show. I'm gonna show you some high quality, high grade koi, some show koi. We're also gonna show you the fish that I bring home. And I gotta tell you, folks, I show my man Art from Western Carolina Waterscapes. He didn't say it on camera, but I think it's worth repeating out of my mouth. When you're looking at koi, take a look at the parents. You're not gonna marry a girl unless you look at what her mom looks like first. Same deal with koi, so I'll show you some really high grade adult koi as well. Enjoy. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe button, share button. Female dropped her eggs. Female dropped her eggs in here? Uh -huh. Wow. If there was a male in there, there would be eggs spread all over the sides of the tank. But which which fish? Yeah, probably. Maybe a lot of it's been very unstable lately. Yesterday when the sea, the sea summer, this one was sending here, and that Kohaku began to walk, shoot up this one, and then splash. That Kohaku was doing that? Yeah, and that will that will make the egg. That fish was jumping up, yeah. splashing. Yeah. It's a spring break in the pond. Spring break in the pond is right. Yeah. I had some spring break. That girl right there was acting wild yesterday. Yep. Yeah. And made the mess probably of the pond. Yeah. Let me let me talk. Let me talk about. You can see where they still have the belly. Right. Where her There's a smack. So he's got a belly, so we don't think it was her or him or whoever that is. That's a her. That's a her. That's a, her. That's a sweet fish. Isn't it though? What kind of fish is this? It's a goshiki. Love the scales on that. Yes. That's a goshiki. She's right there looking at us like, hey. You are a friendly little girl. Yes, you are. And chagoys. The chagoy? The big brown, yellow or brownish one? Yes. Chagoys have good? They have great personality. And they're usually, uh, one of the judges tells a story about when he first got fish and they were in the pond and he'd you know, come down with food and he'd throw some food in and Stay way over there on the other side of the pond. He said, I heard the fish were supposed to be friendly. He said, then somebody told me to get a chug away. Uh -huh. He said, so I got a chug away. I put it in the pond. I came down to feed. I threw the feed in. And the chug away came over. Then went over to the other fish. And then they followed him back. The chug away was the leader and the friendly one, huh? Yeah. And trained the other fish to come eat. That's so cool. I added a big sanke, I say big, half the size of one of these, but big for my pond. Yes. And it, everybody else got it together and started eating when it ate, and like it kind of signals to everybody mm -hmm. what's in, what's going on. And There's always a leader in the pond. Yeah, there definitely is. They have a pecking order, just as we do. Big fish. Pretty fish. Hello. That's a beautiful fish. I love, now that's a, so with the black on that, that pectoral fin of this largest one, is that a Showa or is that a Sanke? This big, the biggest one in here has this black fin, black pectoral fin. Showa. Showa? Wow. That's a beautiful fish. Because of the size of that red that's on the head, it's called a marutin. Marutin? Mm -hmm. Because of all that big red? Okay. This one? That one right there. That's my, my boy or my girl, whatever. Wow. Most of these people, when they get a fish that big, yeah, it's going to be a female. Yeah? That big is a female? The males yeah. stay smaller? Generally? Uh, size four and under, males can compete very well with females. But once they get ab above size four, the males stay slim and the girls fill out. Joanne, you're so helpful. Thank you so much. This is, this is great. So we test 
almost every day. Using really? Those little tests. You test every day we while it's coming back ammonia, around. pH, and GHKH. What do you run your GHKH, or what do you try to have it at? We don't really measure it. We just keep the pH high with baking soda, and that naturally keeps the pH high. How how how, how much baking soda do you? I mean, like, what is your pH you're trying to hit? We, seven it, above seven, it, or it, it levels out around eight. Really, you keep your pH eight. No matter how much you put in baking soda, is going to normally. Settle out the bicarbonate of the baking soda. Well, we've got three ponds that are connected together. Nice. Right now, it's a total of about 14. 14,000 gallons? Yes. Nice. And if we get the permission to finish the fourth one that he's working on, yeah. it will be about 18. You need like a variance or something with the city, or what's the. Just... The homeowners, the ah. company, oh, yeah. the county. Yeah, it's like I've been there. It's been there for 13 years, and all of a sudden now the management company filed a complaint with the county board of quality of life. Wow. Which are basically complaints against the ordinance. I know more about that than I'd ever want to admit. You've gone through that, huh? <laughs> Listen to this. Did your neighbor report you? I want, I want people to watch and see this. I had a 180 foot by 36 foot greenhouse I was trying to buy. And the lady across the street. Across the street. Across the street who bought the house in 2011. The greenhouse was built in 2006. Didn't want me running my aquarium plant business out of there. So I had a meeting with the city. I had, a ver I had, a, I had to get a conditional use. And the Board of Adjustments voted in a three to three tie. Eleven people came, each one of them spoke for ten minutes, and they wouldn't let me buy that property, even though it's been sitting vacant for ten years. So I know a thing or two about people with bad zoning and being terrible neighbors. Bottom yeah. line, terrible neighbors. Terrible neighbors, terrible people. It's a, there's a syndrome, it's called SLS. Mm -hmm. What's up, fish tank people? I'm in a trance. So I asked Mrs. Kolobak, uh what her favorite fish was. I hear that one. She told me it was that one right there. Want a fish? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Betty Kikukuri. That's my motto today. That's what I can tell my husband. There's always your one more. We got a lot. Oh! I came here saying I was going to buy one fish. I've got three bagged right now with another one on the... Oh, we have 37 of them at home and I bought another fish out of this tank yesterday. Yeah. So I guess I'm taking home number 38. Oh! Yeah. I came just to this show two years ago when I just set up a pond and it was game over. It was just crab. Please, what's your name, man? My name is Ray. Ray? Well, I'm from the Midwest Pond and Koi Society. Love it, man. Well, my name's Dustin. Thanks for having us and showing us all these awesome fish. Say that again, though, if you don't mind. Green algae in a pond is Mother Nature's way of telling you you would have a perfectly balanced pond. Okay. On the rocks, in the water, does on it matter? On the rocks. We're going to be upgrading. I got the little rocked in 2,000 gallon right now, but. Well, a word of advice when you do it, lay a hose to what you want to increase it to. Yeah. Then leave it about a week, because as you cut the grass, you may want to move it in a little bit, move it out a little bit, and that's how you decide how big you want to go. Let it sit there. You see how it fits your scheme of your yard then? Yeah. Because once you dig, if it's not right, it's too hard to fix. Well, my problem is I've got this retaining wall that I like wanted it to fit behind, but it's a rocked in pond, so it's gonna be hard to undo. The guy who was in multiple koi videos, and I'm gonna make him be cheesy on camera, Art from Western, he introduced me to Walter, and he, I've got a bunch of great fish for him, so I'm forcing Art on camera here right now, because I said, Art, what did I tell you I wanted yesterday at five o'clock? I called you and I said, where are you at, man? Give me and a Gromo. Give me a Gromo. This is Dustin's fish. This is a Gromo. 
What type of Garomo do we think this is? Can you give me the art description, man? Uh, art would guess it's an iGaromo. An iGaromo means it's going to have black netting. Okay. An iGaromo. And then Dustin also wanted the little one, right? I want the little one. That's the, this is the goal. This is why I came to the show. And that's also going to be an iGaromo? Or we don't know yet. I'm thinking. And what's the difference between an iGaromo and uh, there's other types of Garomo? Oh, uh, it's how the color comes up, what type of color. Like, since we're on video, let me bring it. That's right, forcing him on video. I'll come over here to you, make it easy on you. Just hold it right here when you get it. I believe this would be a Budo Garomo. Go this way if you don't mind. A little. Look, kind of looks like grapes that come up within the red, like a purple and a blue, and maybe that's what I want. I, don't, I like I like the pattern on the other one more, but I think if this is gonna have it, might have more of the purplish bluish color that I like, the like well, big big Dustin, purple dots. Dustin wanted to go shiki, but Dustin walked away. So okay, his all right. Boy sensei sold the go shiki. Go sold it. That's already sold. All but right. Dustin might want this. What's this? It's either a garomo or a goshiki, but it's a tancho. Same thing, it's just only happening in the red on the head. Wow. Not something you see every day. Oh. It's what I call a poor man's tancho. It's not perfect on the head, but that's why it's a little fish. Well, I want to confirm. So that that's still mine? Or that's still uh, the two. The two there, in there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I right, was making sure. And then that's this, fine. I didn't. I didn't claim on that one. Yeah, so that was sold. Is, these are more of what I call a Karomo. It's a little like with the black netting. This one's not as nice as your other two, but it's of the same variety you're talking that's, about. Gotcha. If this if this event is yeah going towards a species Sunday or yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Variety you know how many people love Walter, Walter, man? People, I was like showing off Walter's pond and then your stuff and that big sanke I bought and probably still has brothers in your pond that I want. This is a cool fish. Yeah, it makes like an X. Yeah. With the base color. Let's go this way a little bit. Cool. Oh, that's a feisty one. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Ooh. What is this art? Uh, it's a Benny Kikukuru. I like that fish. That's cool. Benny because of the red versus just a Kikukuru, which is like the metallic, ghosty, gray, black. A really That's cool a cool fish. fish. Just doesn't have the the red, the Benny. So yeah. I like that fish. Will that stay that silvery looking? Uh, it gets thicker as they grow. I mean, it, it looks like that, but I'm saying that look gets better. Yeah, okay. Ooh. That's a nice fish. I got Sour Apple's art, but I gotta tell you, I absolutely love this dude because he has bomb fish and he's finally bagging up. Called you Sour Apples. Now I gotta get you smiling. Yeah. We've all killed fish art. Not everybody brings them in from Japan, you know? Yeah, but it's my I birthday, fish people. Is it really your birthday? Yes. Oh, <laughs> You killed fish on your birthday? That's terrible. Uh, most of them the day before my birthday. All right. I, stopped I didn't work. know it was your birthday, dude. I wouldn't busted your balls so bad. I stopped working to save him oh. when the struck midnight. Oh, did you really? Oh, this fish is going to be great. So he's coming home with Dustin and then his, his roommate. And I'm only going to quarantine him for like a week and a 125. Does that sound like a good plan? Or what would you do? Uh, Be honest, man. Longer if they show trouble. Okay, the and what's quarantine. what's trouble look like? Anything. Anything. Clamp fins. Clamp fins. Death. Death. <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> so these fish are gonna give me my purple that I've been wanting, and they're gonna darken up, or is that gonna be the color, pretty much? You think they'll? Um, let me Google a picture of a full-grown one. Okay. Yeah, because this is the color that I want. 
Igoromo, Budo Goromo, you know, they're in the Koromo class. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. When they're little, yeah. Is it, you know, is it going to be. What's that considered? Like right there, that, that? That's a Budo Goromo. It doesn't show. It looks almost black, but. What's that? You're kind of like that. I okay. Mean, it's a Goromo. I mean, I call it an Igoromo. It depends okay. on the color of the. It comes up. Yeah. Like this one's a Budo. It looks black, but it's almost like purple. Okay. That's I, I think yours are more Igoromo. Over here, I got the one that's a little more purple. What's the Igoromo? The Igoromo is the lighter? I is black. I is black? Okay. Bud Budo is like the more purple and the blue. That's showing to me a bag. Yeah. Okay. I want to show the Kolobek operation. They got the big truck giving out posters. They do it right. I'm going to try to get her on camera up there. She's got some great fish. Mrs. Kolobek, what are those fish that you have in the net right now? Um, this is a Midori Goy. We're the only breeder in the U.S. that breeds a Midori Goy. This is unusual because it's a scaled variety. And this is a um, Doit Skin Shiro at Suri. Or Doit Skin Shiro Beko, I'm sorry. It has nice clean head, nice shiny skin. Very pretty fish. That is a beautiful mm -hmm. fish. Thank you. Put something in a bowl to for you to take a picture of. I want you to put all of them in a bag, but we'll do, we'll do, uh, there might be something yeah, no, th there, there is, so I, I'd like your help too, because I'm, I might sure. be buying one of these, um, I love the pattern on this one right here, if you, yeah, and then I also like, there's one, uh, he went, if, yeah, if you could bowl that one, that I just was pointing out, that one right there with that, that pattern, and then talk about what that is if you don't mind being on camera. Oh, I really don't do that. Ellen's you don't do that? Do okay. That for you. Well, that's cool. Well, I will just look at this fish. fish guru. I'll just get a good close up of it. What is it called? <laughs> I'd love for you to tell me about this fish. This is a shoe sweet. Can you introduce yourself, ma'am? I've done videos of you a couple years ago, yeah. Miss Callaback. My name is Ellen Callaback. This is a shoe sweet. It's basically scaleless. It's devoid of scales except the zipper like scales that go down its spine. They're very nicely aligned, and that's important in a shoe sweep. It's starting to get the Benny coming below the lateral line and on the cheeks, which is another um, attribute of shoe sweep. So, this is going to develop into a very nice fish. The head is nice and clean. Uh, you're actually the dark color that you see on the head, you're looking right through the skin because it has such nice transparent skin. It's going to be a very nice fish. I'm, in, I'm torn between this fish and where did he go? An Asagi? This this one right here. That one. Oh. I like that similar. What, what's your... There, there's similarities that um, they both are scaleless or the Doit Suver uh, type because of the scalation, although this one is a Kiko Kudru. It has the metallic skin, where this one does not have metallic skin. Which one do you like more? Mm, they're both nice examples of their variety. Um, the Kiko Kudrus are always popular because they, they, sh they show up so well, even in um, less than perfect pond conditions. Um, so really it just boils down to personal preference. Ah, uh, the so I was looking at these guys fish right here. I love these over here. I want to say these are all Kohakus. There's a couple show us. I don't know what you want. I know what I want. I got what I want. Picking up, uh, taking home three Garomos from my dude Art. And uh, they're gonna go in the greenhouse 
and that's gonna piss Josh off, but whatever. And uh, mission accomplished, Louisville Koi Show. Let's do it. Time to get them home. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share button if you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for these fish hitting my pond next week. Tank on.